Hello dear civil engineers, I Abhinav Negi welcome you all in this faculty driven platform that is resultant. Before I start this video, I want to ask you a question. How you study for your semester exams? The answer will be very simple. Just one day before the examination and most of you do last three to four year previous previous year questions. Even the same I have done in my BTEC and MTEC. But cracking a competition exam is entirely different. Here, you have to go deep into the concepts and study all the syllabus and then only you can expect a good score in the competition exam. So, by no means our team resultant is saying that only these four subjects has to be studied. What we are saying that apart from all the syllabus of civil engineering, these four subjects can be given more focus or you can do more practice on these four subjects. Now, the importance of a subject is not only depending on the weightage of that particular subject, but also the connectivity or the dependency on other subjects. So by considering all these factors such as connectivity, weightage, what are the top four important subjects of civil engineer are that I will be telling. So the first one is engineering mechanics. Although the weightage of engineering mechanics is not huge, but still guys, it is one of the most important and basic subjects of civil engineering. You can also think it as the physics to understand the civil engineering is lies in engineering mechanics. Only when you have a sound knowledge of engineering mechanics, then only you can have a very good clarity about the subjects like RCC, structural analysis and so on. And few theories and theorems that you will be studying in engineering mechanics like friction, like momentum conservation will also help you to understand the subjects like highway engineering. The second most important subject of civil engineering is strength of materials. This subject, the strength of materials, which deals with deformable, deformable body, this you can think as the foundation of civil engineering. Once you know the strength of materials, then only you can understand the subjects like RCC, structural analysis, steel, and a particular chapter called shear strength of geotechnical engineering. The third most important subject is geotechnical engineering. It is not one of the highest weightage of civil engineering. It is the highest weighted subject of civil engineering. In gate examination, particularly, it will be coming of 14 to 16 marks. And I am saying it to be the third most important, not only because of its high weightage, but also because of a very important point that it is that kind of a subject, it is that kind of a syllabus, if you study it completely with full concepts, then you have the maximum chance that you can score maximum out of whatever marks geotechnical is asked for. So after studying geotech, you are more sure than other subjects that yes, these questions you will be cracking in the examination or those three hours of the examination. Now the fourth most important subject is highway engineering. Guys, this is one subject whose weightage has been increased in last five to seven years. As guys in 2016 and 17, after that few subjects are added in civil engineering syllabus like per CPM, building material, railway, airport. So when these four subjects are added, that means which are already existing subjects of civil engineering, their weightage will be reduced. But even after addition of new subjects, there is one subject whose weightage is even increased and that is highway engineering. You can think it like Chota Packet Bada Dhamaka. From a very minimal syllabus, you can score maximum out of this. So guys, if these four subjects are strong, then whatever rank you are expecting, you can go a bit further on the ladders or the steps of these four subjects. Wish you all the best. Thank you.